gotta get it. Oh, okay. You know, when you go out there, second decade of the 20th century, you're still around the second decade of the 21st century. That's pretty good. So, This is a very historic meeting, I think. A lot of us have worked together at various times over the years. That's why you see so much hugging and kissing going on. <laughs> But I think this is the first time that people from so very different organizations with very different ideologies and personalities have decided that we have to work together. It's a very, very challenging and historic time. And I think we have to recognize that the emergency manager is like the killing of Trayvon Martin, a sign of the counter-revolution and that defeating the counter-revolution is as important as making the revolution. We are part of a national movement. It's a movement that's taking the form in North Carolina in the Mile of Monday. It is taking the form of uh, the uh, state senator, Texas state senator, Wendy Davis, who carried out a 13-hour uh, filibuster against a bill that would deny choice to women. And it takes all sorts of different forms, and we're going to have to be as courageous, as persevering, as the folks in Raleigh, North Carolina, and Randy Davis in Texas. We're going to have to cooperate with one another, and be principal, and it's not, it's not something that we've always been on. It's going to be a new way of working together that we have to create. And we, it can be as important historically as the civil rights movement and the anti-war movement. And it's going to take time. So I think, I'm, I'm so glad, you know, I, I think of time I see Gloria Owls just came in here. I remember Gloria from the 60s, when she was a teenager, going south to work in the street. And now she's a grandmother, and a professor, and a award-winning poet, and has lived in South Africa. And it's just amazing. All the things that have happened over the past, and that we have to create in the future. So let's, let's see ourselves challenged. Let's see ourselves as the creators of a new movement, that defeating the counter-revolution can be as important as creating a movement to make the revolution. That's where we are at this time at the clock of the world. It's our opportunity, it's a danger, it's also an opportunity, it's a challenge to all of us. So thank you for coming. Thank you, Grace. Uh, we are so honored that you're here with us as an inspiration for what we're going to do. Uh, one of the things that uh, is real important for us to think about in terms of being a Detroiter is the root cause of this crisis that's going on. And we know that we didn't make the crisis but we're in a position to respond to the crisis. And today's forum is about us being informed so that information is power, so that we need to understand what our power is. So today's speakers are here to give you information, but our intention is not that information would not end with you. We're going to ask you to do the old tradition of putting out the drum beat so that when you receive today, you need to be committed to make sure that you pass it on. 
So as you're sitting in your seats, we'd like you to be thinking about who you're going to pass it on to and how you're going to get the word out. It is so critical that we have the masses responding to the emergency managers. Anytime there's an action or a demonstration, we need people to show up. It can't be 20 people out on the street demonstrating. That's not enough. We got to have a minimum of 100 every time that we go out on the street. The numbers are going to speak to the people knowing. And the people are not going to come out if they don't know. And if you take the information, then it's going to just be us, you know, uh, repeating those who are informed, just filling themselves up with information. Your cup is supposed to run over and spill out and touch other people. So this is about connecting you. So you're today sitting here representing 100 people, each one of you. So you think about how you're going to spread the word and how you're going to get 100 people mobilized, understanding what's going on with the emergency management, because these speakers are going to give it to you today in a, in a very strong way. The other thing that you need to keep in mind is the, the bottom line in terms of the emergency management piece is about race, racism. So I just want you to think about that, race and racism. Does anybody in the room disagree with that? That was real weak. <laughs> Fight as allies and allies. 